Thomas Tuchel opens door to Manchester United job after admitting he's very likely to leave Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich boss Thomas Tuchel has opened the door to moving to Manchester United by admitting he loved his time in England and would be keen to return to the Premier League. The German is set to leave Bayern at the end of the season, despite leading the club into the Champions League semi-finals. Bayern need to beat Real Madrid at the Bernabeu on Wednesday night to progress to the final at Wembley, where Tuchel could face former club Dortmund. But, despite a problematic search to replace Tuchel and suggestions he could continue, the German says he's still set to leave the Allianz Arena. It's very, very, very unlikely that it's at Bayern, I have to say, Tuchel continued when asked about his future. Because we have an agreement, there is at the moment no reason to doubt this agreement. We took this position, the initiative came from the club, and so it is and I'm fine with it. I don't need it for the extra percentage of competitiveness because I'm always up for a win, I'm always thinking how to improve the squad or how to improve myself in coaching. We go all in. Does it have an influence on where I am next season? Maybe not, maybe I'm on holiday no matter what, let's see, let's see. United are increasingly likely to sack Eric Ten Hag, but a decision will not be made until after the FA Cup final. Nevertheless, Tuchel admits he has fond memories of England after being asked about a return to the Premier League. I'd rather not answer, said Tuchel. But it is no secret that I loved it at Chelsea, I loved it in England, and I loved it in the Premier League for sure. I was a very, very special time in England, and I remember it well. Jadon Sancho feels at home at Dortmund and wants to leave Manchester United. Manchester United winger Jadon Sancho feels at home at Dortmund and is keen on making a permanent move to the club this summer. The winger joined his former club on a six-month loan deal in January following a falling out with Eric Ten Hag. Sancho's performances across Dortmund's semi-final victory against Paris Saint-Germain were a timely reminder of the playmaker's quality. He has three years to run on his deal at Old Trafford and club executives were in Germany earlier this month to speak to him. United signed Sancho in a £72 million deal from Dortmund in 2021 but the Germans are only likely to offer around half of that this summer. But Dortmund sporting director Sebastian Kell says Sancho is happy at the club and that the Germans will attempt to sign him and Ian Matson from Chelsea. We will see if we can keep them, said Kell. They are on loans, both of them but we need to make decisions and of course they are under contract with their clubs. It means at a specific point we will get in touch to see if it's possible. I know that the players feel pretty welcome at Dortmund. They feel at home, especially Jaden, and he knows our club pretty well and I think it was a good decision to take them in winter. But this is something for the future, let's keep the focus on today. Chelsea join Man United in battle to sign Barcelona starlet as Todd Bullyditch's transfer rule. Chelsea are ready to battle Manchester United and a host of other clubs to sign Vitor Roque this summer should Barcelona decide to sell, according to reports in Spain. The 19-year-old moved to Camp Nou in January in a €61 million, Euros, £52.2 million pounds, deal from Atletico Paranense, with the transfer considered a major coup at the time. But since then, Vitor Roque has only started two La Liga matches, appearing as a sub-9 further times, and his agent has intimated that he may need to leave in order to get regular game time. Now Spanish newspaper AS are reporting that a transfer battle could be about to explode over the Brazilian team, with as many as 30 clubs making inquiries about his availability. While Barca rate the youngster highly, Xavi has reservations and his own summer transfer plans are dependent on raising funds from player sales. Cashing in on Vitor Roque would allow Barcelona to strengthen other areas of the squad, though they might also consider a loan if he is guaranteed a starting role at a top-flight club elsewhere. Manchester United have already been assessing the situation, and actually tried to sign Vitor Roque when he was still in South America, but now Chelsea are also weighing up the logistics of a deal. The West Londoners are in need of more firepower up top and want to bring in a new forward this summer, with Vitor Roque taking a lot of boxes. However, Chelsea's hierarchy and Todd Bowley are actually prepared to lift their restriction of only signing up-and-coming players under the age of 25 and the striker position is one where the Blues would rather go for a different profile of forward. With a number of young attackers already at the club, and Christopher Nkunku likely to have a more prominent role next season if his injury woes are over, 
Chelsea would ideally like to bring in a more established number nine who won't need to adapt to the Premier League. Speaking about Vita Roque's future, his agent, Andre Curry, said earlier this week, I already spoke with, sporting director, Deco. The boy has a contract with Barca and we chose Barca instead of other options where we could earn double the money. I am certain that Vita Roque will be a great player but if Barca doesn't let him, the club or the coach, I don't know what happens internally, we will look for another way. We do not want a loan. If the club decides that he cannot stay, he will be sold. There are many teams interested in Vita Roque. If the club does not give space to Vita we will have to look for a solution. Either he stays or he is transferred, not alone, it is very dangerous for the boy's career. The best thing would be to stay at Barca, but if he cannot stay we will work for a transfer.